on page 431, we're going to start with a bar graph. On the previous page, we had a table that we analyzed yesterday. It had four years and different temperatures every season. So we're going to choose two years and then we're going to um, compare. So we're going to choose two years from the table and they're, they're asking us in question 17 to choose two years and then compare the temperatures of each season. I'm going to draw first thing, the arrows. Good job, yeah. And we chose year two and year one. Which um, season do you want to compare? Uh, summer. Okay, let's see what the temperatures are in summer. Do you think there's a lot of difference in um, summer? Hmm. Let's let's try to uh, put let's try to compare all the seasons. So what we can do here is one, two, three, four. And we can write here, summer, year one. Or instead of saying year one and year two every time, I'm going to put Y1, okay? Second one. You, oh, you said year two and uh, which year, Zaina? Four? Yeah. Okay, so Y2 and Y4. What was the first uh, season? Let's go in order. First was spring, summer. so... Summer? The first summer. Uh, season in the table was spring, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then let's summer. start. Okay, summer is the second one. Guys, please make the table with me so you stay on track. Year two and year four, summer. What's the next season, Zena? Um, um. Atman. Autumn. Autumn is uh, another word for fall. And the last one is winter, right? Yes. Okay. And what do I need to put on the side, Zena? The side of the bar model. Here. What do you think uh, I need to put? The numbers. The, the numbers, yes. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Do I need more than 70? Yeah. 
the highest temperature is 72, right? Yep. So, so it's fine. Let's keep it at 70. And what do I start with always? What's the first number I need to start with? Um, in which season? In any season, it doesn't matter. When we uh, start with a bar model, what's the first number we start with here? 69? Not 69. The first number we need to start with before we start adding the numbers in the table. Zero? Yes, yeah, zero. Uh, let me send zero. Then 49. I'm counting by 10. So what's after zero? 10. 10. 10. 10. Okay. 20. Then 20. 10. 20. What's next? 30. Next. 40. 50. 40. 50. And then? 70. 60 and 70. Okay, thank you, Zena. Okay. Let's see who can help me here with uh, making the bars. Uh, Fatima, do you have a question before we uh, start the bars? No. Okay. No. Let's lower your hand then. Yazan, what's the first um, temperature here we're looking at? For year two in spring, what was the temperature in year two spring? For 49. 49. So I'm going to find 40. And 49 is closer to 50. I'm going to look at 50 and make the bar a little under 50. Okay. What about uh, year four, spring? Year four, spring, um, 47. 47. So it's going to be a little um, shorter than year two. Thank you, Ezan. Rinad, what's the uh, temperature for uh, year two summer? Year two? Mm -hmm. Temperature? Um, it's um, 15. Are you looking at the table? The table on this page. Year two summer. What's year two summer? Women teacher. Uh, 71. 71. Good job. So it's going to be at 70, but a little higher because it's 71. Asil, do you have a question? Uh, I need a. Uh, I don't have a question. Okay, what's the uh, temperature for year four summer? Year 72. 72. So it's going to be a bit higher than year two. Good job, Asil. Rena, what's the temperature for year two autumn? What? Year two autumn. 
year to autumn was year to autumn was 51. 51. So because it's 51, I'm going to put it a little above 50. And what you guys can do here is you can put year four in a different color. For example, can I do that? Okay, let me try to make year four a different color. So you don't get confused. So what did you say year four was, Drana? Um, 50, 51. Oh, you told me. Okay, you told me about year two. Let me ask someone else about year four. Thank you, Drana. Bisan, what's the temperature for year four? Year four? Yes. The autumn. Okay. 50. 50. So year two was 51. And because year four is 50, it's going to be a little shorter than year two. Good job, Isan. Yes, Anne. Trying to unmute you. Yeah. Uh, what's the temperature for um, year two winter? Year two winter. Year two winter. Twenty eight. Twenty eight. So because it's twenty eight, is it going to be closer than thirty or closer to the twenty? Closer to the eight thirty. Thirty. Good job, Yazan. Thank you. Well, uh, what was the temperature in year four winter? Year four winter, uh, nine nineteen F. Nineteen Fahrenheit. So, is it going to be closer to the ten or the twenty? Twenty. Okay. Thank you. So look at the bar graph word. Uh, from the shapes of the bars, which year was colder in general? Which year had less temperature most often? Like what means? Oh, uh, oh, uh, year three. Two or four. Look at the bar graph, not the table. We're comparing between year two and year four. Two. So two was less more? Which bar two. graphs was two. the shorter more often? The pink or the green? Year four, year four. Year four, because in spring, year four was colder. In the summer, year four was hotter. In autumn, year four was colder. And also in winter, year four was colder. So year four had the shorter bar graphs in general. Thank you, Ed. Ed, write your name. Do you know how to write your name on the so Zoom? I mean on, on Zoom program. I write. It's your mother's name. Oh, uh, no. It's, uh, because it's uh, my mother's mobile because It's my okay, mobile, just so that I don't confuse you uh, with someone else. The, Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a second to finish your grado. No. So if you know the, what, what the, the weather was like in the last five years, does, that doesn't help you know, uh, predict the weather this year? Yeah. It helps you. For example, if yes, uh, last year it was super cold in the winter, you will guess that this year will be the same. It, it doesn't necessarily mean that you are 100% correct, but it might mean that your estimation is uh, close. So the question asks, which weather condition 
conditions showed some types of pattern over the seasons. So weather conditions are like uh, temperatures, um, types of weathers. So do you think that temperatures showed any pattern? Yeah. Okay, and we said it can help us. Okay, so the temperatures and wind directions showed some patterns that can help us predict future weather. Thank you for your help, Yara. So we're going to look at the table and there is some missing information or missing data in the table that we need to uh, predict. So for example, in year one, Lemma, look at year one. The temperature in January is 53, then 55, then 60, then 63, then 65. So almost it's counting up by two. What about year two? We have some missing um, information or data in year two. Do you see year two? Lama? Yes. So what do you think I should write here? So in January, the temperature was 53 in year two. What about February? What do you think the temperature will be in year two? You can choose from here, from the box you can choose. What do you think? Is it going to be in 50s or in 60s or in 70s or in 80s? In 50s. 50s. So what's the only uh, number in 50s in the table? 56. 56. Good job, Lemma. Oh. It's okay. Uh, Fatima, what about uh, in April, the temperature in April? In March, it was 60, so what is it going to be in April? So we already used this. Do you think it will be in 60s or 70s or 80s row here, the table in front of you? You have 79, 63, 80, 60, 30, 44, and 14. What do you think? After 60, what could the temperature be? You can predict it. It's going to go up, right? Um, so it's, it's going to be more than 60, but not that greater. What do you think? 79? 79 is too high. It has to be less than 69, but more than 60. More than 60 and less than 69. Yes. 63? Yes, excellent, Fatima. It's going to be 63 because also in uh, year one, it was 63. So this would be an accurate prediction. Thank you, Fatima. Fahed, look at year one in the other city. Year one, the last month in May. What do you think? First of all, we're almost counting by twos or counting up by threes. So what do you think the temperature will be in May? Um, is it going to be more than 33 or less than 33? Less. Why less? It has to be more because we're always going up, right? Yeah. In year one, uh, specifically. So if it's more than uh, 33, what could it be? It will be 44. Yes, it can be 44. That's a good estimation or prediction. Good job, Bahad.
Tadia, what about uh, February in year two? What do you think the temperature could be in February? The ten temperature? Yes, the temperature. It has 14. to be more than 14 or close and less than 22. 80. 80 is less than 22? Uh, no. What's less than 22? 14. 14. So the temperature did not change in February. It stayed the same as January. That's a good prediction. Thank you, Hadiya. Okay. I'm going to move on to uh, the next part. We have less than two minutes left. You all wrote the answers, right? Moving on, guys. The last one is 14. So on page 437, we are looking at another table. No, uh, question 20 says the table shows a monthly precipitation. We said precipitation is the amount of rainfall in two cities across two different years. Then we need to use our observation skills to answer 21. 21 asks which city receives more for these months. Um, Yemen, look at the table. We have Fargo City and Portland City. Which city is receiving more precipitation? Uh, Fargo or Portland? Portland. Yes. Portland has higher precipitation precipitation does temperature or precipitation show a more predictable pattern what do you think shows more a more predictable pattern um yeah i mean temperature or precipitation uh, yes temperature because temperature is usually going up temperature is more predictable. We have less than a minute left. Finish writing, please. Good job, guys. We're going to have a 15-minute break, and then we're going to have English class last period. And